This video of reaction and discussion, welcome to Demon School Roma Kun. Episode 15, the reaction is now going to commence. This was a lie, it's episode 14, and now the reaction is going to commence. Yeah, we're not getting anything serious in this episode. That's fine. Next episode though, who indeed? Is this a character that actually is gonna matter? Huh. This is one of those things. Whoa! Yo! What a tiny gentleman indeed! <laughs> oh, whoa. whoa! Whoa, 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 what did she say? That's the name of the episode, it's about these guys. <laughs> okay, this is fun, but why? Wait, playmates? Is everyone gonna get one? Why so many characters? Kalego. Right. Yes. Of course. <laughs> Huh? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> revenge! Yes! Indeed. Huh? Oh. Oh, special prize, gotcha. Magic. Bet. Alright, he has the overpowered ability that allows him to give the. Okay. Whoa. Huh. Penalizing Requiem. <laughs> Kalego is unimpressed. Yeah, okay. Water stuff. Yes. <laughs> You're almost having fun. Oh. 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 What? What was that? Sort of... Okay. Right. Right. This was great. Still, interesting little world you're in fact. Huh. You're almost gonna end up there. In the illegal place. Yeah. Wow. Oh my goodness. Wow. It's around wrong spot. Wait, how? Age 14. <laughs> Indeed. Thank you, narrator. No. He is lost. Hey, he has strength. I know he can do it. No. No, thank you. Pandora. Okay, maybe not Pandora, but uh, Rafire. So, wait. This is. Oh. Who are you? Hmm. No, go back. Okay, thank you. Ooh, I will here. Yeah, he noticed. <laughs> she has trouble speaking. And for some reason, I do have that too. Oh my goodness, that was accidental. So is she just someone from the staff that helped? What was that reaction? Alright. Oh, she is not trying to be nice. Accidentally bought ice cream? Yes. Oh. Right. She's nice. Has a prior record. <laughs> oh, she's just trying to help him. Now, is she one of the playmates or whatever? Oh, just like Balam. Wait, white hair? White hair? Is she a relative to Balam? She didn't react to it, so maybe it isn't. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. This is cool. Okay, this one is interesting. What's her deal? Hmm. You wanna go that? There? Oh. She's nice. Now. Oh, cool. I mean, I don't think it's been insanely. Some backstory you knew, miss? Which we don't know the name of. So, the little brother thing, was that actually something that reminded her of something? Hmm. Okay, she's even more awkward than other people. Oh, of course. Bao seemed surprised. Oh, he's calm. Huh? Oh. oh. Hmm. Wow. Oh, she didn't even get to say bye. Hmm. Shida. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I actually enjoyed the second part. Still, is Shida gonna appear again? Maybe. He's in the kids' area. Oh. 
He can't say no. Right. Right. No. As. Six fingers. Oh, mentioned again. The six fingers. Wait, that's the rip? Oh, come on. From how some the episode went too bad. Run away. Stop resisting. Jeez. Run, 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 run. Yes. Wow. Yeah. So bright. Copying me. It is. The truth. That was shocking. I relate to all the characters here. So much in certain ways. Please, please, please. The prison break made it happen. Whoa. Where, where did you take him? Oh, is this guy a traitor? 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 He is, isn't he? Yeah, I'm 100% he is. Uh, he's the one that's gonna let the prisoners. Oh, the warden. Mm. Oh, she's also. Oh, I like this. Who are you? Oh, please don't be over yet. No. Huh. Wait, they are the six. I am second and first. Oh. He's the third. Huh. I love this. Oh, I'm about to cry from happiness. <laughs> yep. Oh, come on, please. Begin. Whoa. It already begun? All the animation. My happiness. Whoa. They release monsters? The monsters are distractions so that they can release the people from prison. I can't... I guess... How dare you? How dare you, Rokun? You were able to trick me through... To... I got tricked. I believed it. I got tricked. I cannot believe this, but I actually got tricked. I actually legitimately got tricked. The monsters looked cool at the end, by the way, but before that... No, actually, this is, there's only one thing that really happened in this episode that's... No, there is two things, and I'll, I'll talk about Hiromu in the second end, the second finger. Uh, but yeah, the Six Fingers, evil organization that is responsible for pretty much everything evil. Right, uh, and we met all of them in this single episode. Huh. I assume they're not gonna be the big baddies of the whole series now, I'm pretty positive they're not. Especially because Sabrok's brother is not there. No, they're probably just one. They're they're gonna be the villains of this arc and maybe maybe the, ne the next one if they're more important than I think. But their goal is simple. They need to release a specific individual from prison. But he's there only for two years. I mean, then again, he might be needed for something. So I got tricked. I legitimately got tricked. I did not believe that this episode was gonna give me anything. You know, when they introduced the white-haired helper, I thought, Oh, you know what? I, I, I'm i just gonna tell you everything I thought. When in, when they introduced Sheena, right? That's her name? No. Sheeda. Okay, Sheeda. Uh, so, she... Uh, she is uh, interesting. <laughs> I think the little line of... Uh, Don't touch my brother and the head part... Yeah, I think more than likely she probably was her brother or something, right? That's why she had so much fun with Hiruma. Hmm. I don't know, a little theory. But yeah, she was definitely the most entertaining part of the episode, the most interesting one. And I was expecting, you know, she's pretty cool. She has a cool character design. She has to play a big role in this season at least. And I was thinking... Who knows, maybe, or maybe she isn't gonna play a big, uh, a big role in this and she might actually come in school next year and we might see her as a senpai, of, senpai of Iruma. I thought it was a possibility, but uh, no, she is the second finger in the six fingers, so yeah, I am, uh, uh, yeah, that actually really surprised me, I thought that after that guy, I thought he was just gonna be just a traitor, but uh, nope, he's the leader of the evil organization, and even more so, even more so, he's actually... I, I'm shocked, I really am. I I mean, yeah, I'm impressed that Hiromuro kun was able to get me, but then again, this show almost never does it, so every time it gets even remotely serious, it always gets me, because I never expect it, even though I'm hoping for it all the time. 
Uh, but yeah, I was thinking that Shida might actually fight together with everyone else. But no, nope, they have monsters and the Six Fingers are gonna fight as well. Yeah, I guess so. Also interesting that you can actually seal creatures inside of little uh, glass orbs and then release them. That's Those are magical apparatuses, I assume. And you know, uh, I forgot the name of the guy with the glasses, the one that was responsible for the first serious arc within Yurumakon. But yeah, he, is, uh, he was kind of a specialist in making magical apparatuses, right? Yeah, kinda, or he could at least. I'm not exactly certain how this is gonna go, because there is no avoiding it in the next episode, it's happening. <sighs> but before talking about that, uh, as I said, I am very intrigued by the communications that are gonna be occurring. And it's probably gonna be <laughs> the power of friendship with Hiromu. He will be able to convince Shida to actually join their side. At least I assume so. You know, it would be very cool if we actually have a long-running villain organization in this anime and Shida actually does feel a little regretful and she actually does like Hiromu and he's trying to convince her but she's actually never able to go back. Yeah, that would be very cool little dynamic. This is not the type of anime I'm expecting this from but it would be very nice. I think what's actually gonna happen is the Six Finger are just an off branch of the ones that want to go back to their evil ways of the demons. As I said, because I am not seeing Sabrook's brother, pretty positive they're just an off branch and they're not gonna matter after this arc. Or, or, Shida and maybe someone else out of the others uh, will come back in later, but most of the six are probably gonna get captured. Unless I could be completely wrong and they're actually the actual villains for a decent amount of time, which I'll be fun with that too. Then, once again, I am shocked that I got played. I actually got played. I was not expecting that. Uh, yep. I'm so happy Iruma was actually able to surprise me as much as it did. This, this anime actually did. And yeah, my excitement and happiness are kind of going through the roof right now. They really are. There is a lot of potential. And not to undermine it, but uh, the guy that's sleeping all the time. Yep, of course he has some beautiful eyes and just beautiful aura around him. And of course Rono, I wouldn't like him precisely because of that. Wait a second, Ronoe got him somewhere, he got him somewhere. Is that because he's actually insanely powerful? I mean, his ability is insanely powerful. It is. So, hmm. Is the anime actually trying to play smart and hide certain characters for later? Oh, that... Uh, I don't know, I don't know. As I s I've said multiple times, this is the type of anime that I have a lot, that I see a lot of potential in, but they know it's always gonna be a comedy. It is shonen. I just wanted to check. It is a shonen. So, maybe, maybe, I'm sorry, I, I just got off My Hero Academia, and uh, yeah, I'm thinking of some, uh, I'm thinking of some potential. My brother t told me that My Hero is gonna take a turn soon in the anime, so uh, yeah. Oh, if you don't want takes a turn to, I'm gonna love it so much. I'm really, really gonna love it so much. And it doesn't have to be a very, very 180, everyone loses their life and there's only seven characters, the world is about to burn and Iruma needs to save everyone. I would love that. Because if an anime as good and as wholesome and comedy as this one sh sh shifts its tone, uh, yeah. To that extent, it would be ridiculous. Still, I don't think it needs to do it to that extent. I want it to shift... I think, I think I've said it before as well. I don't need it to shift all the time. I don't mind having comedy episodes, some wholesome episodes. Uh, just a lot of fun and world building from time to time. But, you see, having a serious arc every single season... I feel as if that's kind of a necessity because... It makes me appreciate every serious arc that much more, even if the stakes are not that important and even if I know everyone's gonna be fine and I know there won't be that import that many important consequences. Precisely because almost all the time there is nothing, literally nothing serious. Whenever it's get whenever it gets even a little serious, I value it so much more. That is why I enjoy this episode that much more. Because I was not expecting anything 
uh, this act specifically will definitely determine whether I like this season more than the previous one because I really enjoyed the series arc in the last one however there is this one can definitely beat it and yeah for now for a start I'm definitely enjoying it how many more episodes oh there's actually a lot of time left but I think this arc will probably conclude in, in three or four episodes which that's perfectly fine with me I mean, no, I kind of wanted to continue to the end and actually end in a cliffhanger. No, I don't want that, but I wanted to end it maybe in a sort of bad way. I don't know, I don't know. When it comes to the very end game, I think whatever happens, uh, the guy that is with the glasses is definitely gonna escape. And maybe some of the other prisoners with him too. Yeah, I think that's definitely happening. But, we'll see. I have a lot of expectations. I really enjoyed this. There is a video there, you can subscribe to my channel there, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did.